Today, all you need are weights, any sort of weight, bottles, um, or if you actually have weights, even better. And if you have something in the form of a step, that will also be great as well. We're going to get to that in a second. We are going to start off with a nice, simple stepping back, the same routine as always. We're going to step back, twist our body across. Nice and simple. We're not going to bother with the timer this time. All we're going to do is keep ourselves nice and loose, keep that spine rotating round. We're not going to do any repetitions in terms of numbers. All we're going to do is movement, constant movement for the whole half hour. By the end of it, you should be feeling energized, revitalized, and happy in general. It's quite a tough week this week, I feel. This is actually like the crux of it. If we can get through this week and be positive, then we are on to a winner, okay? If you guys, hopefully you guys can see me, there's not much light in here, um, we're gonna do what we can. Okay, stepping forward, bring the arms up. Doesn't have to be a deep lunge, just has to be a step forward. Just going from side to side. Just as a little side note, I am allowed to treat people, so if you do need osteopathic treatment, feel free to get in touch with me. I am keeping this place sterile as possible. Um, I'm washing my hands, as everyone should be. I'm getting my clients to wash their hands before and after treatment, and I'm washing down, wiping down the treatment tables after treatment to prevent the spread. It's very important to maintain that health, keep that fitness, but also look after yourselves from a anatomical, medical point of view, okay? Obviously, if you've got any coronavirus symptoms, please don't look in with me. I will not be accepting you. But if your coronavirus symptoms are free, then by all means, we're gonna step out with one leg, same arm goes across the body. Step and step. You can see that I'm out of breath already. I haven't been training as much as I'd like to. I'm not gonna lie, things have been a bit tough. Psychologically, I'm sure everyone's feeling some sort of strain on their mental health. But the one thing that can help you out is movement and exercise. Keep staying fit and healthy. I'm going to post this video on my page afterwards in case you guys miss it. T Brown Wellbeing. I've kept myself busy. I've adapted my website. Have a look at it. Check it out. See what you think. Give me some feedback. We're going to do opposite knee to opposite elbow. Nice and simple. Now, although this training is for the boomers, this is a training for everyone. Okay? There is no one that won't benefit from this workout. There's a lot of hit and high intensity workouts here that a lot of you might not be able to handle or keep up with, and that's absolutely fine. This is not one of those high intensity workouts. This is a workout which you can work every single muscle of your body from head to toe using as little to no resistance whatsoever but if it's too easy just up the resistance keep pushing don't stop the whole point is that we're keeping on moving if you need a rest stop have some water i'm not going to stop my idea is to try and make sure that you guys are motivated and then keep on moving keep on working excellent so this time I'm going to step out to the side, bring the arm over, bring the arm over, good. So I hope you guys are taking full advantage of the weather when it is good. Today is a little bit grey, this morning was quite nice. Try and go for that walk, that run. If you've ever wanted to start running, by all means get in touch with me about warm-ups. Again, I've posted a few videos on dynamic warm-ups that we can do to help you get ready for that run. Try and go for bike sizes, apps like Catch to 5K, I've been told are fantastic. If you want something a bit more detailed towards your specific needs, get in touch. I've got nothing but time. Absolutely nothing but time. We're gonna bend down, reach up. Bend down, reach up. Bend those knees and come straight up. If you wanna go onto your toes, by all means, we're just moving, doesn't matter how fast you go, just as long as you keep moving. Really important, go onto your toes, feel those calf muscles work, 
Stretching all the way up. Excellent. There's no such thing as bad movement when it comes to this kind of workout. So right now, I know I'm warming up because it's time for me to take the jumper off because it's way too warm. Is we're going to combine two movements together. So I'm going to do a step forward. Now, you've got two options. You can either step forward like so, or you can do a full lunge. Totally up to you. It all depends on what you can do. It doesn't matter. No one's going to judge you. So we're going to do a full step forward. And as we step forward, we're going to bring the weight up to our shoulders. So, one option. Step. And step. Two options. The other option. A bit deeper. And a bit deeper. Okay? I'm going to face you guys whilst I do this. If you guys had your water, you've got your weights ready, you can hit the mat. Make sure the cat or the dog is in front of you. You don't want to step on them. So we're going to step forward. As we step forward, bicep curling up. Okay? We're going to do a total 10 repetitions. Just 10. Here we go. Step forward. One. Two. Three. Four. Nice and controlled. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Good work. Weights down. Okay. I want you to jog with me. Okay? You're going to jog with me on the spot. You're going to jog as, as long as I'm jogging, okay? We're going to start jogging. Just some nice and light jogs. Move those arms at the same time. So as one leg comes up, the opposite arm comes up. Keep going. Don't stop. Excellent work. Keep fighting, keep fighting. If you're living in a flat, maybe send a message to the neighbours below. Apologise for the banging and the noise. Let's start being and rest. Grab hold of the weights again. We're just doing 10 repetitions again. Full forward lunges with a bicep curl. And away we go. Down. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Good. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Good. Back to the jogging on the spot. Ready? Alright, let's go. Jogging on the spot. Keep moving. Don't stop. Excellent work. Feel free to write a comment on the latest Netflix show you've been watching. I've kind of been watching... I'm about to watch the new season of Brooklyn Nine-Nine. I'm re-watching the whole of the US office. Because why not? It's brilliant. And what else am I watching? Ah, Better Call Saul. But that comes out every week, so it's a bit annoying. But those are my three that I'm watching. Feel free to write down while you're watching. Give me some sort of tips, advice. More than happy to have a chat with you about Netflix. And rest. Good work. This time, we're going to grab hold of both weights or one weight. So, from here, we're going to be stepping backwards this time. So, again, the weight's going to be above your head. So, from here, behind your head, step back a little bit, slight bend the knees, weight goes behind the head, come back up. Slight bend, come back up. If you want it to be more difficult, you're going to step down, come back up. Step down. Come back up. Do not throw the weight. If you throw the weight, you're going to break some stuff, okay? So, if you want to make it more difficult, you're going to hold on to both weights. You're going to keep both weights close together, above the head. So we're going to go for the more difficult one. So again, just ten. Down. One. Arm goes straight as you come up. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So right now we're working on the triceps, which are the back of the arms, and your legs, okay? So again, this time we're not going to be jogging in the spot, just going to do some star jumps, okay? Do some star jumps with me, okay? Keep moving, you're going to get a good sweat on. If you haven't had a shower, 
you're going to stay like a little tomorrow, but it's all good because you should be in lockdown with the ones you love, so they should be accepting of that nasty, sweaty workout smell. <laughs> good work. Keep going. You do not have to go as fast as me. You can go faster, you can go slower. It doesn't matter as long as you keep moving. Good. And rest. And you're going to step back, drop the weight behind your head. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good work. Some of you might have shoulder problems, by all means, do as much as you can. As, as don't push yourself beyond what your body is able you, you know, and is it enabling you to do. So you're going to keep pushing. You feel my heartbeat is rising. My breathing is getting heavier. That's a good workout. Keep pushing. Good. And rest. Okay, this time. If you have some form of step, it could be stairs, it could be anything you want. If you don't have a step, just trying to think of what you could use instead. Um, some sort of small um, a chair potentially. Please don't start stepping on chairs if you're going to fall over them. But the idea is you want to find something just to raise. So for me, as you can see, it's not a huge increase at all. It's a small step, but it's a small, it's a step nonetheless. If you have no step, just do the movement without the step. So the step, the movement is, without the step, is stepping forward, bring the knee up, step back, bring the knee up. And then you're, gonna, you're using your arms to generate that movement. If you can see, opposite knee, opposite arm, okay? We're gonna do 10 in a row. We're gonna step forward onto the step. So step one. See, I've really just messed up the legs, haven't I? Two. Three. That's a 10. Four, nine, and ten. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. I want to give you a side shot just so you can see what we're looking at doing here. So this time we're stepping up with our right leg, driving our right, our left knee down. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, one more, and ten. Good work. So this time, just the weights. We're going to do a mini squat and then straight up above our heads. Mini squat, straight up above our heads. If you want to make it harder, you can do a full squat. So squatting down as low as you can. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, and ten. Good work. Weights down. So we're going to step forward and we're going to bring both arms up. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Other leg. Squat followed by a shoulder press. So squatting down. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good work. All right. All we're going to do is going to step across the body and down. Across the body and down. If you want to make it harder, step down and get that side lunge in. Okay. So you're going to step down to that side lunge. Bring the, bring the leg across. Step down, bring the leg across. Watch how my arms come opposite. 
It's keep that balance, okay? If you want to make it more difficult, hold on to the weights. I'm going to bring this back a touch. So, this is about balance. Very important. Doesn't matter how old you are, you've got to stay balanced. You don't want to fall over. Foot stays on the platform, okay? Stays on the platform. Weights are going to be up and together. So you're going to step out, drop the weight, your body weight down, across the body. Two, again, if you want to just go a little bit, that's fine. Three, or if you want to go deep, four. I'm going to move across a little bit so you get a full view. Cross, five, push the weight. Six, a nice core workout. Seven, and legs. Eight, nine, one more. Ten, nice work. And across, one, two, move that weight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more. Nine, last one, ten, nice work. If you have shoulder problems, do not do this with the weight. Just do it with the arm, it's just fine enough, okay? So from here, we're going to have knees slightly bent, weight through the heels. If you've been watching my videos, you know this is a stable position I like to get into when you're standing up. It engages the core, keeps the back, get a nice curve in the lower back, and also make, maintains that good position posturally. So, we're bringing the weights up, out, and down. One, two, nice work. Shoulder height. Shoulder height, three, four, fantastic for the posture this one, five, squeeze those shoulder blades as you come back, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, good work. Weight goes up, we're going to come out to the side and across, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, ten. Nice work. Other side, same thing. Remember, all about the balance. If you don't have a step, like I said, you can just do it with the foot on the ground. I like to get a little leverage. So we're going to step out. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. One more. And ten. Nice work. 